Oh, I've just realized I've still got my Poundland t-shirt on. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm actually going to Sheffield tomorrow. Very random. I've never been to Sheffield before and it's about a two hour drive from me. I'm gonna be driving down, but I don't know when this video is gonna come out. I don't know when I can speak about this. So if you're seeing this now, then this is the announcement. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a Cine World campaign. Like this is just so cool to me. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it yet. I'm gonna tell you when I get to the hotel tomorrow because tomorrow is when I'm driving down and then the actual actual shoot for the campaign is on Sunday so I'm basically spending the weekend there but anyway I'm gonna pack for Sheffield now okay well obviously I've got my makeup bag this is actually from the flat lay company but they actually gifted me this a while ago and I love it because it basically opens like this like flat it's in the name Yes, we're on the way, kind of. I've stopped for breakfast. Guess what I got from McDonald's? I literally got four hash browns. I also just cleaned my car quickly while I was like waiting at the drive through with my super clean from TikTok shop. This is like a squidgy like slime basically. You just roll it all over your car to get the dust. Not sponsored, just thought I'd share that with you. I also got for the first time ever, a large vanilla ice latte. I always, always just get a regular. This is actually as big as my head. Even bought my metal straw. lovely <laughs> i even went as far as to make a new playlist for the journey today <laughs> talk about bad timing i just wanted to show you my new playlist <laughs> to be looking for a space great now i'm at the exit <laughs> that was a nice trip now i gotta go all the way back around nice little tour of the outside of meadow hall by the way this video is to show you that it's okay to do things by yourself <coughs> like if you have no friends or if you have no one to do things with or if you just want to spend quality time by yourself it's okay honestly we're about to get deep a few years ago there's no way i would have ever come shopping by myself or gone for food by myself hi i'm editing this right now it's a few weeks later and i actually posted a reel on my instagram go and follow my instagram while you're here i posted a reel i took from this day where i went and ate sushi by myself and i was like let's normalize doing things by yourself it's not scary it's not awkward or embarrassing and the amount of comments that i got being like it's not embarrassing i can't believe people are actually embarrassed of this i was like there are a lot lot of people that are scared to do things by themselves. I'm trying to help people and encourage them to do that and show them that it's fine. If someone had done that for me a few years ago when I was scared of doing things by myself, it would have helped me out. I genuinely used to feel so awkward and paranoid while I was shopping by myself that I would speak to myself out loud which actually makes it worse because if I was paranoid about people looking at me before, how is it helping that I'm actually speaking to myself? That used to be like my main thing was my confidence. It will just happen naturally, honestly, but I have got so much better at vlogging in public. Like I don't care anymore. You'll get there and one day you just won't care. I didn't know that I didn't care until I got my vlogging camera out and I was like, why don't I care? Like I'm just holding my camera and I don't care. Anyway. That was so fun. I literally just had my AirPods in, living through the main character energy. I was loving it. And I hope I showed you that it wasn't awkward. But I don't know if I filmed that much on my camera <laughs> and I might have looked awkward. No one was judging me. I didn't feel uncomfortable. I actually did like a little vlog for my TikTok and Instagram as well, if you wanna go and follow me on there. I mean, let's be real, if you're watching this, you probably already follow me on there. Cause you people that actually watch me on YouTube, you're the loyal ones that actually like me for me, not just my sketch videos. <laughs> Hi, if you're watching this, I know you're a real one. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm joking. I'm in Ikea. Hi. This mirror. This has been on my wish list for ages. I'll show you later what it actually looks like. Got an uh, oven glove. And then two glasses. One. Oh. <laughs> 
Hi, so I'm at the premiere in now. I actually didn't know what room I was getting either because someone else booked this for me because this is obviously a business trip. This is a really nice room. I wanted to give you a haul on what I bought today apart from the stuff I got from Ikea because I could not be bothered to carry that in. Really random, but this was from Urban Outfitters. It's a book. So you'll see a common theme here that I love Ed Hardy items. So this is a vest. It has a koi fish on it and I am obsessed with koi fishes. Fishes. I'm a Pisces, so obviously my zodiac animal, my brain's not working, I've had a long day. My animal is a fish, so I think that's why I'm so drawn to them. Then I got this panther crop top. This is actually from Foot Asylum, so this is a dragon crop top. Then these are the two trousers that I got. This is actually the reason why I went to Urban Outfitters. They are so cool, I just love like the buckle stuff. These were the literal reason why I went there. I tried these on a few months ago and didn't buy them and I really regretted it. And then from Primark, I got two little shorts. Got these ones. And these are actually pajama shorts, but I'm just gonna wear them around the house. Or I could even wear them out. I don't know. I'm imagining in my house when I go down in the morning to make my morning coffee. In the summer, I'm gonna sit outside and drink it, and that's what I will be wearing. Thank you for listening. I got this mug. Oh my gosh, this is from Primark. This was actually the last one they had. If you watched my shopping vlog, I'll put it at the top. I went on the hunt for a vase. Imagine this, but in vase form with multiple lips all over it. They didn't have the vase. At least I got a mug. It's kind of disturbing in a way. Also, while I was in Ikea, a man kept staring at me and I smiled at him the first time, but then it just carried on and it was getting a bit creepy. I went to the till and he came over to me and he was like, are you Holly Lang? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, I really love your videos. I love everything you do. I'm such a big fan is literally what he said. And I was like, that is so nice. Like, I just don't really know my demographic. I don't think. <laughs> Usually it's young girls that come up to me. I don't think I've ever had a grown man come up to me and say that he loves my content. But if that was you, hi, it was so nice to meet you. I just wasn't expecting it. I probably gave him a dirty look because I was like, why is he staring at me? Oh, I forgot to show you two more things. I did not need these, but I had to get both of them. I had to. I love spring and Easter. And these just remind me so much of that. Like I'm 24. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this as well. Premier Inn have a new menu. So I'm definitely gonna go to the restaurant. So you can come with me for that as well. Cause obviously in this video, I'm showing you that it's okay to do things by yourself. It's not scary. I'm going down for dinner now. It's, it's very, it's very quiet. It's literally silent in there. I'm quite drunk, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was in the restaurant for like four hours, maybe three, maybe two, I don't know. It felt like a really long time. I had a large glass of wine and a small. Why am I this drunk? Like I feel like Door my- Door two. I feel like my tongue Door is- Door opening. Numb. Oh, Door I need my- closing. I need my key card. I had to buy a bottle of water. Oh, it's half nine by the way, so I should be quiet. Tiptoe. I can't find my key card. Oh, I found it. I think they were already drunk. I can't speak. <laughs> I've actually got a really early start tomorrow, but I've got a driver picking me up tomorrow at 8.45 in the morning. Ow. <laughs> I feel so energetic. I'm actually speechless. I'm only just watching this back now. This went on for a good eight minutes. <laughs> oh God, this is horrible. It's 8 a.m. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm back. It's like 11 p.m. and I've had the longest day of my life. I've got my glass of wine while I tell you about my day, but I am in the new Cineworld advert 
like the advert that they show before the trailers in the Cineworld cinemas. That's so crazy. This is like one of the biggest things I've ever done like with social media and it was such a fun day It was just really long and draining. I did things for Cineworld's social media pages as well like their TikTok and Instagram But I have a lot to tell you about it. Firstly got my makeup done. A makeup artist did my makeup today I need to know what this foundation is because it covers all my spots But yeah, so got there at 9 a.m. Literally finished at like 8 30 p.m. So it was a very long day and this was my costume for the ad so when you see the ad in the cinemas don't be confused i'm not a cine world employee it is actually me just dressed up as an employee if you watch me on tiktok you'll know that my content is like retail sketch videos so that's why they chose to have me in like a worker's costume today the other influencers that are part of the ad they wore something that represents their content as well i did have a moment where we were taking photos in the foyer part of the cinema a lady actually came up to me and asked me where the toilets were and I was like I'm sorry I don't work here I don't know and she was like what and I was like I don't know you could just ask someone over there like they work here I don't work here <laughs> while I was wearing this and she literally gave me the dirtiest look and I made friends with all of the influencers as well there were like six of us I think and they were all so nice and I just went down to the restaurant in the hotel because we're all staying in the same hotel we just had a drink together but yeah it was such a fun day and thank you cine world i'm honestly so excited but this video kind of was meant to be a vlog but then i was like i don't know if i can speak about this cine world stuff so i'm gonna turn it into like showing you that it's not embarrassing to be by yourself so it's kind of like you got that and now you're finding out some really exciting news that i didn't think i was allowed to tell you but i am i had such a good sleep last night obviously i was exhausted and my feet hurt so bad because we were basically just stood up all day and i'm gonna end the video here because i'm back home now but i hope this video kind of showed you that it's fine to do things by yourself it's not embarrassing and it was fun to bring you guys along with me you guys came on my business trip with me it was so fun but thank you so much cine world if you're watching i can't wait for you guys to see the ad that's going to be played in the cinemas anyway thank you for watching and i will see you next week bye